places you don't talk about at parties. You want me on that wall. You need me on that wall. Keep this frequency clear. And now it's conspiracy, see? They've made that something that, that, is, that is, should, should not be even entertained for a minute, that powerful people might get together and have a plan. Doesn't happen. You're a kook. You're a conspiracy buff. You're watching The Truth is Viral, the only news program on the internet trusted to deliver the truth since 2008. And now, here's your host, Mr. Bobby Powell. Cool. I'm, I'm experiencing the same thing. People are waking up. In the past 30 days, I've gotten 581 new subscribers. So I'm, 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 a, I'm, yeah, bro. All right. Where I am right now, they're wherever, they're wherever you're willing to draw a line and say, you cannot come across this line or I'll kill you. That's where your rights are. And if you don't understand that, folks, then it's beyond my capability to explain it to you. They will get away with whatever you let them get away with. And until you draw the line and you're willing to die for what you believe in, they will keep taking and taking and taking and taking until there is no more to take. It's all gone and you're a slave. You called down the thunder, well now you stop. You tell them I'm coming and hell's coming with me, you hear? Coming with me! Banksters, politicians, the mainstream media, and a portion of the alternative media decimated over 250 years of our prosperity, which has been built by our blood, sweat, and tears. It's time to fix what's broken in America. It's time for the people to rise up and realize, guess what? We're going to have a civil war! from the Overthrow Bunker in FEMA Region 9 in Southern California. I'm your host, Pete Santilli, and you are listening to The Pete Santilli Show! Welcome to The Pete Santilli Show. The commentary you're about to hear is based on truth and fact and is meant to be used as an educational tool to fight the new world order, the global elite, and their eugenics agenda. Any characterization made by Mr. Santilli about any person, living or dead, is solely the opinion of Mr. Santilli. Also be advised that the following commentary may have adult content, so parental discretion is strongly advised. So go grab your chips and your Diet Coke and get ready for Pete Santilli. Pete Santilli, telling you the truth, whether you like it or not. And welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Today is Wednesday, February 13th, 2013. This is episode number two, uh, 343. And each episode of the Peace Antilles Show is broadcast live daily on the Guerrilla Media Network. Monday through Saturday at 11 a.m. Pacific Time, 1 p.m. Central Time, and 2 p.m. Eastern Time. And of course, recorded Spreaker.com episodes can be downloaded at Spreaker.com, the Pete Santilli Show, and iTunes podcast can be automatically downloaded at www.thepeacehantillyshow.com. About to incite a riot. Make some noise, break up the silence. Scream and shout, no being quiet. Spread the facts until you buy it. Come to my Ladies and gentlemen, Jaw Jaw will be coming on the show here. I should have that uh, confirmed today. You're going to hear from Jaw Jaw here in the, the coming days. We'll let you know as soon as we have that date and time scheduled. Uh, for your regular listeners, you are uh, fans of Jaw Jaw if you've listened to the Pete Santilli Show. And if you're a brand new listener to the Pete Santilli Show, uh, you hear that music? Uh, that was her. Uh, she's a great artist. She's an info warrior. And speaking of info warriors, uh, I have... Um, uh, uh, come into contact with a guy actually through watching his YouTube channel. Uh, that's how I first came into contact with him. He's a staunch constitutionalist and defender of the Bill of Rights. Very articulate man. He's a, uh, a United States Marine, as as I am. Uh, and w- as he says, he's not a former Marine or an ex-Marine. When he dies, he will be a decomposing Marine, but still a Marine. Okay, he, after serving as an 81-millimeter mortar gunner deployed with the 3rd Marine Division in the Marine Corps, Bobby became a journalist and has worked as a city editor for Scripps Howard Newspapers and as entertainment editor for Fort Pierce, uh, Port uh, St. Lucie Tribune. Uh, Bobby was the evening news anchor for KVOR in Colorado Springs during Operation Desert Storm, as well as an assignment reporter for CBS uh, Radio Network covering NORAD, Fort Carson, 
and the U.S. Space Command at uh, Peterson Air Force Base. All right. Now he's an independent investigative journalist and a publisher and editor-in-chief of The Truth is Viral, an alternative news program that has gained a reputation for in-depth interviews and everyone from man on the street to CIA spies and officers serving with NATO. I'm proud uh, to bring to the line once again, I... Um, but things have been so busy for the two of us. He's doing the same exact thing, trying to reach as many people in the shortest period of time possible because we are uh, very clearly, without any hesitation, we are in the at the end of something. We don't know exactly what that is, but we need to reach as many people as possible. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce, especially to our new listeners, uh, Mr. Bobby Powell. Welcome back to the Pete Santilli Show. Hey, Pete, it's my honor to be on your show, brother. You are my hero. You know that? What? You, uh... You yeah, seriously. Hero. I wanted to have you on. You're my hero. I have something to say to you, by the way, before you before you give me kudos. This is what I want to say to you. Uh, first of all, uh, I have literally almost every single day, I said, man, I have to get in touch with Bobby Powell. So many days have passed. Uh, I uh, want to tell you that, uh, that my prayers are our prayers are with uh, you and your family. I understand. Uh, that you've got uh, a family illness. I don't know if you want to talk about that in this in this segment, uh, but I haven't been able to get in touch with you. I feel really bad about it, but uh, I I hope everything uh, works out as it will. Uh, but uh, I'm so sorry I, I couldn't reach you uh, sooner. But welcome back to well, the Pete Tilly Show. I, I appreciate that, bro. And and since I've been putting it on my own videos, uh, I, I don't mind talking about it uh, because a lot of what has come about recently has been as the result of prayer. And if people don't know about it, then they can't pray about it. What it is, is my wife, we've been together almost 25 years now, uh, has colorectal and, and uh, liver cancer. It's stage four, so it's you know pretty widespread. It's, it was pretty bad when we first discovered it. We didn't even know if she would make it through until Christmas. But uh, the chemotherapy has been working. Uh, the last round of chemo that she did, we're, we're actually in the hospital today getting a, uh, her fifth round, I think it was. At the end of uh, the last round, her oncologist brought us into her office and gave us some really good news, and that is that the tumors are shrinking. So everything's working along according to plan, and uh, I'm, I'm satisfied with the way things are going. Listen, I... Um you know, I, I didn't know and how much detail you wanted to get into, but uh, I, and I'm, I'm glad we opened up this way. And my uh, uh, my sincerest apologies for not being able to get back in touch with you sooner. And I know your listenership is growing. And um, uh, you you have been under a lot of pressure as a result of the topics that you and I are covering. Pretty much right in line uh, or, or in parallel with each other. Covering some you think? in topics. Yeah, we are. Okay. Okay. Um, and, and 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 do you do you believe that you have? And I know that I've got my detractors, my people that are trying to throw, as I say, cinder blocks out in the middle of my raceway. Do you have uh, uh, people right now that are trying to uh, tell you to shut up? Well, yeah, actually, uh, since I've been doing this Second Amendment thing um, since the before the first of the year, I've been uh, I co-sponsored a, a Second Amendment uh, demonstration in Lansing on February the 8th and, and promoted that. Unfortunately, that was also the day of the blizzard, so I didn't get to go. Uh, about 125 people did show up, but uh, I just couldn't drive the 230 miles to get there. Uh, however, we're going to try again on uh, March 20th. There's another Second Amendment demonstration on the Capitol steps in Lansing. It's uh, sponsored by a group called the secondamendment.org. Actually, I'll give you their their uh yeah, their uh URL. It's www.secondamendmentmarch.com. And uh they're scheduled to have some really great speakers. Doug Giles, the uh uh publisher b behind clashdaily.com is going to be there. And uh <clears throat> there there's another woman. It's uh an Associated Press award-winning uh television investigative journalist and uh, uh jan morgan is her name and uh yeah they're patriots are coming out of the woodwork it, i'm sure that most of your listeners have noticed that in the past couple of months county sheriffs all over this country have been standing up and telling the federal government that they can come and take the guns of the citizens in their county over their dead bodies uh about 250 uh county sheriffs at, at, at last count and here in Michigan on uh, December 8th of, of last year, 
the Michigan legislature voted 107 to 0 to nullify the indefinite detention provision of the National Defense Authorization Act. So whether it's local, state, or county, or, uh, you know, anything that's not federal government, they're standing up and they're letting them know that the power belongs to the states. The federal government is charged with providing for our common defense, and that's just about it. They're just going way overboard, and, and now with uh, the Second Amendment thing, they, they think that they're going to take our guns, well, or even place r huge restrictions on them. Well, they've got a, another thing coming. They've trained millions of, uh, I don't want to say retired, because they're not all retired, but former or uh, you know, current members of the military, National Guard, and these men are not going to turn their weapons on, on the American people. It, it, I'm sure that you've heard about this litmus test that Obama is giving the, the top generals, asking them if they will fire on, on the American people, and those that uh, say that they won't are getting canned. Well, I'm, I'm here to tell you that there are some that are, are telling President Obama that yes, they'll fire on the American people, and then when that time comes, they're not going to because they'll still be in a position where they can stop it. Oh, that's interesting. Where did you hear this, by the way? That's just a feeling that I get from talking to, to various people that are still in the military. Uh, it, it's not a statement that I want to ascribe to any one person in particular. It, it's just the general sentiment that I get. You know, They're not going to, uh, to let this happen. Well, there's, there's patriots still inside the military. There are patriots still inside the press corps. They're, they're being suppressed, and they're doing what they can uh, to get the word and, and the truth out. But uh, for the moment, I, I think that there's a lot of them that just aren't going to blow their cover. You know, that, that is great, great. I, I, like, uh, I like those thoughts. I, I love that, uh, that thought that, you know, that the generals see exactly what, uh, what's going on. I mean, who would have ever thought that we would have to come to, you know, to make this type of decision where we've got a uh, so-called commander-in-chief uh, that's able to wield a sword in such a way? But, uh, but those, are, those are great thoughts. Um, hey, you know, let, right. me ask you, let me ask you something really, really important r relative to sure. the Marines. Speaking of the commander-in-chief, did, did you hear anything about the Marines being disarmed during the inauguration? I did. As a matter of fact, on uh, the Truth is Viral uh, Facebook page, uh, I, I put up a post asking for my fellow Marines to look at the footage from, from, the, from the 50, 57th inaugural parade and look at it closely. <clears throat> Pete, I want you to do that too. And all of your listeners that are former Marines, I want you to look at those Marines. Uh, pretend like you're uh, an inspecting general. These, some of these Marines were unshaven. If you look at their rank and files, they're walking all over it like ducks. They look like they're just bouncing back home on the block. And these are Marines from, uh, they were supposed to have been Marines from Bravo Company at the Marine Corps Barracks, Washington, D.C., 8th and I uh, Barracks. And all these guys do, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year is drill, drill, drill. They know how to keep a straight line forward, uh, left and right, and diagonal. That, and when you watch that footage again, Pete, you're going to look at that and you're going to say, oh my God, those aren't even Marines. I've seen uh, Marines on graduation day at Paris Island with more snap and pop than these guys. It's, an, it's insane. So yeah, and you know, that isn't the, the missing bolts from the rifles isn't the first time that this administration has, has shown that they uh, don't trust the okay, most explain, trustworthy explain branch something, of service. Explain something for our listeners that don't know what you just said. Missing bolts from rifles. What does that mean? Tell tell. I know what that means, but what what does that okay, mean? Okay. Well, the uh, the M1 uh, rifle that uh, these Marines were carrying for for ceremonial purposes has a bolt. It's uh it's a it's basically the equivalent of a charging handle on an M16. You uh, grab the outside of the bolt, rack it back, and slide it back forward and it, it puts a bullet in well if you don't have a bolt you don't have any way to seat your bullet into the uh into the barrel of the, of the rifle so there's no way 
that uh, any of these Marines could have, uh, if they were Marines, could have just suddenly said, well, it's time to uh, stand up for uh, the Constitution and defend this country against all enemies, foreign and domestic. <laughs> but uh, not only did they not have rifles, uh, Obama was surrounded by bulletproof glass. And so I'd, I'd say he's just a little bit paranoid, as is Secretary of, or former Secretary of Defense Panetta, because the last time he visited Bagram Air Force Base, he forced the Marines to disarm before he would go into the room. Dude, you know what? Now, I'm, watching, this, I'm watching this thing. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I'm watching this, okay? These are a bunch of sloppy-looking Marines, man. They're marching in formation. They look like, I mean, they, they're a little bit out of sync, and they're, they're not marching in straight file. That's wild. They're sloppy. and The sloppiest Marines. These are not Marine Corps barracks Marines. No, they're not. And the press release said that they were supposed to have been Marines from, the, from Bravo Company. And uh, I don't believe it. I don't believe it for a second. Like I said, I've seen uh, recruits on, on the parade ground at Paris Island more snap and pop than these guys. Oh, yeah. That's a very interesting point, ladies and gentlemen, what we just brought up. So what that implies, uh, Bobby... Is, is that the, the, the Marines that are uh, surrounding the president, the most squared away Marines in all of the Marine Corps, right? They are the most squared away Marines. They're the most locked and cocked, as they call it. Um, they were not present for that parade. That video that I just looked at is not from the Marine Corps barracks. Now, uh, those are sloppy Marines that were taken, obviously, to replace the squared away ones. For whatever reason, obviously, they're very, very paranoid, right? Obviously. Uh, you, you know, you'd think that they would at least try to try to make it look good. Uh, I don't know how many other Marines have, have really studied that footage, but there, there's one guy, I think it's at 1 minute and 32 seconds. He's a Lance Corporal and he's got eyes left. And uh, this guy looks like he hasn't shaven in two days. And, you know, I know that they're inspected, especially before an inaugural parade. They would be inspected to make sure that they don't have any Russian ropes or you know, anything like that hanging off of their, their uh, dress blues. And I, I can't imagine that any uh, commander, it, whether it, it be at a, a squad level or, or company level or, or division level, would have let these men go out and represent the United States Marine Corps dressed like slobs, walking like slobs. It was, it was just, it just blows my mind. I'm blown away by this, Bobby. I've never seen this. I've never even heard of this. I mean, I heard about their bolts uh, being taken away, but these are not uh, our top Marines. They would never allow these guys to be marching in formation. Uh, like, like you said, in, out of boot camp, you don't even see that. That's in boot correct. camp, they're more locked and cocked. But uh, very, very interesting that, uh, that we bring that up. So, so we, we now, you and I know that we have a commander-in-chief who is in trouble. I'm going to have to keep you into the next segment because I want to talk about what your opinion is as to where we are in history. We know where we are constitutionally. We're almost finished, Bobby Powell. You and I know this. We are, as our last line of defense, we give up the Second Amendment. We don't stand and fight. We're done. Tyranny shall overrun us. Now, I want to talk to you uh, about what you believe we need to do, and I've talked about this, I want to have this, this discussion with you, as to A, what we need to do to stop tyranny from steamrolling us, A, and B, we know that a collapse is coming. In your opinion, what do we need to do to stop these people who have destroyed us from being in charge on the other side of the collapse? Don't you think that's an important consideration? Thank you for watching The Truth Is Viral with your host, Bobby Powell. Make sure to follow The Apocalypse on Twitter at The Truth Is Viral. Like The Truth Is Viral on Facebook. And if you can, please remember to donate to the cause via PayPal at www.bobpowell.blogspot.com. Smack Runner. Your game is through. Smack Runner. I'm talking to you. Run, sir. Run! Tell all the other curs the lie's coming! You tell them I'm coming! And hell's coming with me, you hear? Hell's coming with me!